Yes, yes, boys, new LR out. It's time for the review, but first let's have a look at that skill and super attack. Let's go, boys. Oh, what? My father saved me. Ah! And he said you weren't going to get away with this. He told me that I was to protect the earth now. Okay guys, that is the new LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth. That name rings a bell because of a certain reason. Let's see what exactly I think of that. So, animations were looking clean, but, you know, we're here for more than the animations, guys. So let's jump and see the exact details that the Gohan has. And I will talk about my exact thoughts on the Gohan. Okay, I got him up here, boys. Let's have a quick look because I've got some problems with this guy. I will talk about it in a second, but I do have a little bit of problems. So, as you can see there, wait, he's just showing us the art there. And I'm not going to lie, the art looks amazing. For a, like a Gohan fan such as myself, this is like legit incredible. Like, look at that. Look at that green that he's just smacked him up. Oof. This is where we get into the juice now. Movie Heroes category, key plus 4, HP attack and defense 130%. Probably not going to be used that much. I think Movie Heroes as a team is not that key reliant. Yeah, I don't think Movie Heroes is a, is a team you would care for key plus 4. Other than maybe Gobros. If you're going to run Gobros, that's about it. Every other ally is pretty okay for key. They've got a good support. Don't see this leader skill coming through. Maybe the super tech one if you're struggling in battlefield. I don't know, maybe. And let me have a look at those links. Super Saiyan, same way we All in the family. Oof. Okay. Link skills aren't the craziest as well. I will say that. But let's see what that passive does. Okay. Attack and defense 58%. That's kind of standard for a lot of Gohan units. Plus an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. Oh, damn. Plus an additional attack and defense 7% per key sphere obtained. Plus an additional attack 58% when performing an ultra super attack. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack plunge. Plus an additional attack 59% and attack becomes a critical hit when performing an ultra super attack if HP is 58% or less with a movie heroes category ally whose name includes Goku on the team. Okay, from the fifth turn of battle, once only as well. Oh damn, they put an active skill in his passive. They put an active skill in his passive. Uh, okay, so he's built exactly like LR AGL Gohan after transforming. That's the exact way I can see it, because he gets the P plus 1 pl per orb. Which, you know, both LR Gohans do already. And then, you know, he gets to nuke, like both LR Gohans. And then, do that additional super, though, that, that's new. That's new, that's definitely a this guy type thing. And it's a... He has a medium chance of launching an additional super type. Plus an additional type, yeah, so... Huh, that sounds really good, actually. He sounds like he's going to be pretty strong. He's not going to be broken, but, well... 58% plus 58% on top of each other. I think he's going to be kind of strong actually here. Yeah. yeah, I think he's definitely going to be kind of ridiculous. That is insane though. Like, he does all this and then he has the, still the medium chance of launching an additional super attack. Like, this isn't cooler. Like, what the, what's going on? Okay. So let's see what else he can do then. 
Active skill, the promise made to dad. It can be activated. HP is 58% or less. Movie hero is category ally. Name is Goku. So from the fifth turn from the start of battle. Keep us 12 and attack 59%. That's okay. Not as crazy as some of them, I will admit, but you know, that's that's okay. It doesn't have to be a broken, broken active skill. That's still pretty strong. 59%. That's uh, stronger than some active skills, I will say that. I think Broly's is only like, what, 40% or 36%, something like that. So, he's going to be doing some insane damage. Uh, the categories now. Okay, so movie heroes, of course. Goku family, yeah. Bond and Master and Disciple. Nice that he's got this one. Of course, Super Saiyan 2, Exploding Rage. All that struggle. Okay, so. The teams, I can see this guy being run on properly, properly. Movie heroes, Goku family, Bond and Master and Disciple. Don't know about Super Saiyan 2, Hyper Saiyan probably, but youth, all that struggle, full power and exploding rage, I don't know if there's any space for him or if he fits in with the whole meta of those teams. And the super attack effects, okay, so raise the attacking defense for one turn, and on his 18 key he's raised his defense, it says there, is that everything they're showing me? Oh yeah, because raise his defense and lowers enemy defense. Okay, so... I don't think there are any showcases of this guy yet at all. So, he sounds really strong. Of course he sounds really strong. It's really surprising that we're getting this now as well. I am kind of a bit sad about that because I don't have stones for this guy. And also, there's more to meet the eye about this one because what are they exactly doing now on Darkham? Because... This guy, I don't, you guys already know, he has the exact same name, like, I like this guy, I do like this guy, but he's got the exact same name as this LR. Now, some of you guys don't think that's not a problem, you know, it's fine to replace LRs, but you don't replace LRs with summonable LRs, you don't replace summonable LRs with other summonable LRs, like, there's no need to have two LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth you know, with the same name, both in the meta right now, like, well, this guy's not exactly in the meta, but that could really cause some problems later on. Yeah, they've got pretty much the same links as well, but the main problem I do have is I was okay when it happened to, let me, let me just have a look. I'll give you an example. So it happened for Bardock and you guys all know what happened to Bardock. So Bardock was, of course, the best you know, base for Bardock, and then all of a sudden we got a new low class warrior lead, and now this guy was the base form Bardock that you would take on like revenge or low class warrior because he was the leader, so you had no chance of running the other Bardock. Now, this Gohan here, he's not a leader, he's not anything like that, and look at his passive just 18% nuke, key plus one with every key. Like, compare this passive here, like one line. And then you compare it to, where is it, that. Like, I understand time changes and this is going to happen, but eventually this guy will get an easy A. And then if when he gets an easy A, then this guy won't be used. It's like, having the same name is just terrible. Like, we don't have a good base form team Gohan. We don't have a good base form. Why... Did they not just give him the base form and make him transform on turn one or something? It would have saved the names. It would have saved. There's like a. Honestly, I don't see why they've done this. Honestly, I love this card, but doing that is just really annoying. Let's talk team options now. Let's talk team options because you know I'm here to talk about them options. Going off his passive and everything, of course, movie heroes is probably going to be the place to be now. Talking about linking partners as well, we've got to go with the LR Spirit Bomb Absorption Goku. What a surprise this guy is like broken for, you know, all the time when he comes to linking partners because this guy needs orbs. This guy needs orbs, this guy makes rainbow orbs, so this guy can nuke harder. Uh, and also, if you ever do get to that part of the passive where your HP drops low enough for the active skill or whatever, this guy's a Super Saiyan Goku, so again. This Spirit of Absorption Goku comes to the rescue and, you know, is top tier. Now, there is one thing that actually doesn't, like, worry me, but it does kind of, like, worry me a little bit because 
what the hell is Duncan doing now? Because I thought we were supposed to get LR Jiren. Like, they could still give us LR Jiren, like, in, you know, on Christmas Day. We have a chance of getting LR Jiren. But, you know, are you sure you're going to give this to us? Because, to be fair, I'm on about LR Jiren right now. But it's not LR Jiren I'm that worried about, honestly. It's getting these easy A's. Because, you know, where is it? Topo, we need his easy A. The... I mean, yeah, the Khalifa, sorry. We need these easy A's. We need these easy A's. Like, we need our easy A's, dude. Like, we've been waiting so long for the Kale and Khalifa. Yet, yeah. those Topo and Dispo should not be out yet. They should be coming out with Jiren. But if they're pushing Jiren backwards, of course, that's going to push their easy A backwards. And that's the only thing I'm worried about with this guy coming out. Also, with the name stuff, because that, that's really bad practice, I feel like. I feel like... Doing that is definitely going to cause some problems, especially like, say if this guy, people spend a lot of dragon stones on him, and in a year's time, honestly, I could see LR's, summonable LR's getting easy A's. I mean, you see on Legend how, like, LF units get Zenkai's, summonable LR's could get easy A's, and then that's a whole different game. You're going to see a lot of weird old units in the meta when that starts, trust me, but... I don't know, let me know what you think. Of course, it's stupidly hype. I do like it. I don't like the name, but I think it's stupidly hype. I was a Gohan fan. I just don't have the stones, man. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. Let me know what you think of him in the comment section. Let me know, you know, are you hyped? Are you dropping all your stones? But remember, he's good, but there's going to be better coming. Remember, the if you're on JP, the anniversary is coming. If you're on Global... I don't know, I'd rather say for Bojack, but you know I'm going to drop because it's Gohan. Like, you know I'm going to. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. And if you do like, definitely hit that like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. You know about that bell. And I'll see you next time. This is Kizan bouncing out in a bit, dudes.